Sooner Scoop HD. DJ, I'm sure you're excited about going to a spring, actually, at this position. You want to play this position so bad, so how's it going? It's going great. Matter of fact, uh, it's glad to be back. Glad to be back in uh, the position I've always wanted to play. Yeah. What went into that decision to be asked to move uh, to the offensive side? Um, it's, it's something I wanted to do. Uh, after every season of my college career, but um, I finally fessed up and said, you know, I can't do this no more. This is what I want to do. Is this has always been my dream. So, uh, like me and Mike said, it's better late than never, for sure. So to do it in the middle of a season like that is just a sort of a breaking point for you. It, it, you know, it was, and I, and I hate that it, it ended up like that. But you know, I feel like my performance is diminishing. You know. Every game, I mean, my heart's not in it. So I was like, you know what? Give somebody else an opportunity to actually that that they love the position. Let them play. You know, let them let them let them have it. Let them have the glory. Let them have the opportunity. And was it a? I know you said that your heart's so you've always been with that yeah. wide receiver spot. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, when did it start feeling more and more like it was heading in that direction? <laughs> like I said, this this past year, um, it's always felt like. You know, it was always felt like that after every season, but it, you know, after this year, I was like, no, this, this isn't just, this isn't right. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. It hasn't, it hasn't been feeling right. So I was like, I, like I said, better late than ever. You know, got to make the decision. Why did that work? I mean, just because, like in on the field snaps on Saturday, mm -hmm. what did that look like week to week after you made that switch? Uh, it was, it's a lot of scout team work. Uh, it was my first time being on scout team, but it was great practice. You know, I'm going against Brent Venable's defense. It was making me better as a as a receiver, and it was just getting me back in the groove. You know, it was a lot of things that I was like, oh, okay, you know, I kind of forgot about that. Oh, I forgot, I gotta, you know, I gotta get my steps back on certain routes. So it was good. You know, I, I'm so glad that he allowed me to play on scout team to, you know, get my get my feedback on myself. When did you start feeling like wide receiver self again? Oh, uh, oh man, I would say about week two because I started, you know, they started letting me do one on ones and. And seven on seven, I was like, okay, I'm feeling back, feeling back to my normal self for sure. What's the, the biggest adjustment when you have to make that jump? Because we've seen guys go from receiver to, to DB. We don't mm -hmm. see many times DB to receiver. It's the uh, it has to be the playbook and, and just the different signals. That's that's the biggest thing because you know you always still have your ability. It's just, but also you know, like I said, you know, on certain routes, it's regaining your steps, figuring out your steps again, figuring out your stride length. And then it's just that playbook, the, the, those signals, man. It's just totally different. Like I had for the longest, I was like, I was like, oh yeah, that's blah 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 blah. It's like no no no, that's that's something different totally. So just the signals, that's the biggest thing. Were there any guys that you leaned on when you were trying to learn that? Drake Stoops, you know, Drake Stoops. He's being my roommate and everything. He's helped me a lot through that. And uh, I know Coach, you know, LD, you know, he's gone, but you know, he helped me a lot. And then, uh, but yeah, Drake Stoops, him being my roommate helped out a lot. And uh, he really, you know, gave me a little kickstart. So what's, what's the that? adjustment been like to, to working with him? Uh, oh my God, he's a great, he's a fantastic coach. Um, matter of fact, he recruited me when he was at Tech, you know, when I was still in high school. So, you know, he, he believed in me and it's good because he starts from the fundamentals. You know, we're, we're a really young receiver core and he's what he's implementing right now in everybody is, is fantastic. and. You know, it's just going to be better for us. He's a great fundamentally, and he's a teacher. He's not just a coach, but he's a teacher. I feel like you're starting to develop that chemistry with Dylan a little bit out here. These yeah, couple yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, it wraps on there also. Yeah, you know, the way he's zipping the ball, I'm getting used to the spin. Being a left-hand quarterback, I've never played with a left-hand quarterback, so just getting used to that spin even. So, yeah, no, me and me and Dylan were connecting for sure. So is that a little bit of an adjustment? It is, yeah, yeah. Uh, the spin's a little different, you know. Uh, but you know, once you get used to it, you get used to it. And you alluded to the youth of this quarter, this wide receiver group. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like there's a pretty good opportunity for you to to find a role. I think so, 100%. Um, like I said, I believe in myself 100%. Uh, you know, not not knocking anybody else, of course. But you know, we're a young group. We have a lot of talent. But you know, I feel like I could definitely go on the field, 100%. On the leadership side of things, even though you haven't been in that group, you're mm -hmm. not a freshman role. Do yeah. you feel kind of balance in that? I do. Um, you know, that's going to come with time, obviously, but, you know, there's just certain things that a football player, you know, I could, you know, I could 
showing the ropes a little bit, you know, just being on the football team and being a college football player. But yeah, like I said, a couple times for sure. You mentioned Drake. What is it about his game, his approach that you maybe want to Drake? I mean, Drake. He, you know, he lives like he lives life like a pro, uh, on and off the field. Uh, the way he recovers, the way he gets in his playbook, um, even you know his on-field performance. You know, the gems that he that he gives, the little nuggets that he always uh, he always drops. You know, it's just who doesn't want to be around that guy for sure. Kermit had to say about him last week. No, I didn't. What did he say? I think, what was it? Like, dark was alley. In a dark, dark alley in South, South, Dallas, South Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. I wouldn't want anybody else by my side. I'm, no, yeah, no, I'm telling you. Drake, he's. No, he's he's he'll ride he'll ride with you for sure, and you know making him my roommate. That's my dog. Man. That's, that's my dog. Yeah. Sooner scoop HD.